my friends. I am so excited to share these two products with you. One, because it goes with our club set, and two, because it's a brand new product I designed for Sizzix and it is so incredibly versatile. Because you know me, I want you to use my products over and over and over and over again. I want you to buy you buy it and then use it in a year, use it in two years, use it. It's, they're, they're timeless because they're so versatile, which is important to me. Well, here we go. Remember, we have our club set called Gingerbread to Stamp. But I personally have two girls at home, two daughters. So I needed, this was our club set, I needed a little girl to match. So I designed the girl gingerbread, um, it says girl gingerbread to stamp. And we have the little girl, gingerbread greetings, let's get together soon, gingerbread kisses and Christmas wishes, goody goody gumdrops, and I love you this much. Now don't think this is just for Christmas because goody goody gumdrops, that I love you this much, let's get together soon, nothing to do with Christmas. And look at the cute little zigzags for her dress and little bow and all this fun goody stuff. Now, of course, it has matching dies. So let's move that over and you can see the dies. So there's a die for her dress, for the zigzags, for her pockets, if you want to add cute little pockets, a little bow for her hair, coordinating, of course, with the gingerbread boy. Now, I have lots of fun samples to share with you, so stay tuned. Now, I'm also releasing this die set that I designed for Sizzix, and I'm so excited about it because, again, versatile. Now, the sample here says happy birthday. But there's other options. There is also You Are So Kind. There is also Love. And there's also, I think a star, oh, I'm sorry, a heart border. So there's lots of different options that you can have to say. Perfect for shaker cards too, by the way. And I'm gonna demo this for you at the end of the video, so stay tuned. Let me show you some of my samples because they're so much fun. Here we go, I'm gonna open this one up. Look at how cute that little girl is. Isn't she cute? And nothing to do with Christmas. Let's get together soon. Isn't she adorable? Then here, oh, this, I'm gonna save that one for last because it's one of my favorites, I think. Okay, goody, goody gumdrops, so cute. So if somebody gets something fun and you can say goody, goody gumdrops. Here's a cute little girl, love, open it up. Gingerbread kisses and Christmas wishes. I love those flip it cards. Now this one, woo wee, doesn't that one look good enough to eat? I love you this much because she's holding out her hands. Here's a cute one, gingerbread greetings. Open that up, I love it. Can't go wrong with flip it cards, of course. Gingerbread greetings again. Oh, look at how cute this one is. Friends, isn't that cute? Friends, just friends. Mostly die cut too, that's fantastic. Now here's another cute one that's friends. Have a sweet Christmas, love, and they're holding hands with a heart, I love it. Here's a cute one. You are my friend, I like it. Now this is a cute anniversary card. Look at this, happy anniversary using one of my drop-in cards. Happy anniversary and they're holding hands. Now here's a yummy looking one. The boy and the girl together, gingerbread greetings. Now, oh, this is my favorite one for the kids. I mean for the, for the um, cookies. Goody, goody gumdrops, gingerbread greetings. And don't they look so yummy? I'm getting hungry just thinking about it. I love them, I think they're so adorable. And this was using the heart step up card. So adorable. Now, let's look at our samples for the drop-in, the script drop-in, and that's what we're calling it, the script drop-in. So here it is, so here it says love up at the top. Here's another one with a shaker that has two layers, one with the hearts, one with the love, and then you open it up and it says you are so kind. Now, here is one that says happy birthday. Now notice, it can say happy birthday down here, or it can say love up here, or it can say happy birthday down here, mix and match, mix and match. Here's another one that says happy birthday, so cute. And then here is a you are so kind. Now, I wanna show you this one, and it's usually you'd wanna use your precision base plate because there's so much blade. Mine happens to be missing because it's downstairs in the kitting room, but we'll, we'll, we'll fake it for now. But I do recommend because there's so much blade going on in there. So we're gonna, ooh, look at that. It's like Christmas over here. Okay, so move those off to the side. So we're gonna open this up and I'm gonna get some cardstock. Now, I highly, highly recommend not only the precision base plate, but also Sizzix adhesive on the back. The reason being it's very, very um, intricate what you're cutting out and you don't wanna have to try to figure out how to adhere that. So we're gonna use our cutting pad and just trim that down. And let's die cut this. So. We're gonna use two different pieces. 
Now, if I wanted it to stay in my card, I would just use the one and it would stay in my card. The second die creates it a frame and it's gonna actually jump out of the card. So we're gonna lay that down and I'm gonna do it a little bit at an angle because we're, we don't wanna have any speed bumps. I'm gonna lay this down. Now, of course, I'm using my magnetic platform. So if you don't use your precision base plate, you can use the magnetic platform. We're gonna lay that down. We're gonna line that up, get that nice and lined up. Now, let's do love. Okay, here's love, it's in script, it's beautiful. Again, don't forget, I could have dropped in happy birthday, I could have dropped in these hearts, I could have dropped in you are so kind, but I'm gonna do love. Now, when you drop it in, look at the top, which one's the top? Okay, this is the top. If I lay it down like that, this is the L right here, then it will be at the bottom third of my card, and I'm hoping you can see that, yes, the bottom third. If I flip my love this way, it will be at the top third of my card. So I get to decide. I've decided that I want it to be at the bottom third. And I'm gonna line that all up, get it in there, see? And we're just gonna line this all up, get this, make sure this is exactly where we want it. And we're gonna run that through the machine. And this is where the magic happens. Now don't forget, we have this as it's adhesive on the back, which is fantastic. Now because I don't have my precision base plate, I'm just gonna run it back through. Okay, are you ready for the magic? Okay, so we're gonna lift that up. Save this, because there's a lot of adhesive on the back of that. Peel this up. Now, I'm going, I have four little chad marks, because where these dies lined up, I'm gonna have little chads. That's okay, it's expected. You're just gonna pull it, just like that, gently, gently. And if that little chad bothers you, I rub it with my fingernail and it goes away. Um, if, it, if you're a perfectionist, I am not, then you can use scissors, but look, it's already gone. You can't even see it. Okay, so we're going to peel this up and look at how gorgeous this is. And I can't remember if this one's my handwriting. I think this one is my handwriting. Okay, so now look at how beautiful that is. You see the white because that's the Sizzix adhesive on the back, ready to be adhered. It has the sticker on the back. Now I could add this. Let's look at our original, one of our other loves. So, See how it, it can be at the top or the bottom, isn't that fantastic? And here's the sample so you can kind of just see what it would look like down like that. Isn't that fantastic? Now again, lots of choices and of course more coming soon. Thank you so much and I hope to see you again soon. Bye bye. It's never like you got it on your own